Good, e- <laughs> good evening, everybody. It's not morning, so it's evening. Okay. So I'm going to be in. It's pretty hard for me to explain what I'm going to be, so I'll tell you uh, what part of the Bible. This is hard. <laughs> so I'm going to be a uh, Bible scripture reading. Probably it's going to be in E Z R A. It's hard for me to say that. So, uh, yeah, E Z R A, that's what I'm going to be. But first, let's see. Oh, yeah. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, thumbs up this video. Lots of thumbs up. Share out this video. Share it on Facebook, Twitter. If you have a Twitter or Facebook account, just share it out on that. And also read down in the description below. Okay, let me get some water. Okay, now. with a loud voice, and many shouted loud for joy, so that people could, could this, the noise of the shout of joy from the noise from weeping. You know what the word weeping <coughs> means? <coughs> Do y'all know what the word weep, weeping means? The word weeping or wet, wet means to, to cry. So when you're crying, it's another word to use as weeping. That word is spelled <coughs> uh, weeping, W-E-E-P-I-N-G, or one up above is W-E-P-T. Uh, that means to, to, to weep, means to cry. Okay, it's just, I think it's the same thing. The same thing crying is, is weeping or to, to whip, to whip, but down here, verse 13, it says, <coughs> weeping, and weeping means to cry. For people, for the people shouted with loud shout, and the no- noise was heard far off. Well, I can you imagine you can hear a noise like that uh, back in the Bible days? You could hear that far off. Well, that'd be, mm, that would be something, wouldn't it, to hear, uh, to hear something like that far off from where you are. You know, I, I can't imagine, I can't imagine how that would be. If you, if you heard weeping of people and shouted with a loud noise, heard far, far off, Wow. Can you imagine how that would have sounded back in those days? <clears throat> and <clears throat> shout for joy for the noise of weeping. So, uh, that'd be something to hear that, wouldn't it? Okay, now the devotion. Is, oh, you'll like this one. <laughs> Chosen to love. A choosing to love, C C O O S. Okay, yeah, I think the word means to uh, choosing to love. That's what it talks about. <coughs> Our daughter recently in agreement as she led me to thinking about the topic of love and how how it is the divine of an experience. First Corinthians 13. <clears throat> it is often to as the love chapter because of its clear dis- description of <clears throat> natural <clears throat> of love and the exercise placing the word love in these verses with your name or someone who were dating 
how you are that person up to the biblical stenure stenure wow well <clears throat> you know you should always love people whether that be your mom your dad your your your, your husband your wife we, we should all love most of all you should love the father and his son jesus um for example, let me tell you about something. For example, <clears throat> when I pray, when I pray, I always say, Father, I love you with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength. Love my neighbors, love myself. You see, <clears throat> when, you, when you say that, that's a commandment. You should love your Father and you, uh, and I also said that to Jesus too. I love you, Jesus, with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength. You know, that's a, that's a commandment. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> think about that. It, when you pray, you should say, uh, you should tell the Father, "Hey, I love you with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength. Love my neighbors, love myself." You should say that because. <clears throat> you know, if you if you have Jesus in your heart, you should tell him that you love him, and tell his son Jesus. I also, I also tell the Holy Spirit that I love him. You no, know? we should always love one, the one the other. We should always love one another. Um, I, I do. And see, my mom and my dad both went home with, with the Lord, but I still love them. You know, uh, and and I love my, uh, well, I love my other family too. But you see, we should all love one another. Okay. <clears throat> but you should love the Father and the Son. You see, I love you, Father, with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength. Can you can you do that for me? The next time we pray, can you say, "I love you, Father," with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength? And say that to His Son Jesus too. And if you need prayer, just put it down in the comments below. I'm gonna shut this camera off, and I will pray you pray for y'all. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye now.